Karl Marx's economic and philosophic manuscripts of Wendtideden 44, a deep dive into Marxian philosophy. Karl Marx's economic and philosophic manuscripts of Wendtideden 44 represent a pivotal moment in the development of Marxist thought. Written during a period of intense intellectual ferment and social upheaval, these manuscripts offer a profound critique of capitalism and lay the groundwork for Marx's later works, including Capital. In this comprehensive analysis, we will explore the key concepts and arguments put forth by Marx in these seminal manuscripts, examining their historical context, theoretical implications, and contemporary relevance. Historical Context the early 19th century was marked by the rise of industrial capitalism and the accompanying transformations in social, economic, and political life. The Industrial Revolution brought about significant changes in production methods, leading to the emergence of large-scale factories, urbanization, and the formation of a working class. It was against this backdrop of rapid industrialization and social dislocation that Karl Marx penned his economic and philosophic manuscripts of Wendy 1844. Critique of Capitalism At the heart of Marx's manuscripts is a scathing critique of capitalism as a system characterized by exploitation, alienation, and inequality. Marx argues that capitalism is inherently exploitative as it is based on the extraction of surplus value from the labor of workers. The capitalist mode of production, according to Marx, leads to the commodification of labor and the commodification of human beings themselves, reducing individuals to mere objects for sale in the market. To illustrate this point, Marx provides vivid descriptions of the dehumanizing conditions faced by workers in industrial factories, he documents the long hours, low wages, and hazardous working conditions that characterize capitalist production, painting a stark picture of the human toll exacted by the capitalist system. Moreover, Marx identifies alienation as a central feature of capitalist society, arguing that under capitalism, individuals are estranged from the products of their labor, from the process of production itself, from other human beings, and from their own humanity. This alienation, Marx contends, leads to a profound sense of disconnection and dissatisfaction among workers who are denied the opportunity to realize their full creative potential. Concept of Alienation The concept of alienation occupies a central place in Marx's economic and philosophic manuscripts of 1844, representing a key theme that runs throughout his critique of capitalism. Marx identifies four distinct forms of alienation. Alienation from the product of labor. Under capitalism, workers are alienated from the products of their labor, which are owned and controlled by capitalists. Instead of deriving satisfaction and fulfillment from their work, workers are reduced to mere appendages of the production process, disconnected from the final outcome of their efforts. Alienation from the process of labor, in addition to being alienated from the products of their labor, workers are also alienated from the process of production itself. The division of labor in capitalist society leads to the fragmentation of work tasks, robbing workers of a sense of meaningful engagement and autonomy in their work. Alienation from other human beings. Marx argues that capitalism fosters a competitive and individualistic ethos that undermines social solidarity and interpersonal relationships. Instead of viewing each other as comrades and collaborators, individuals in capitalist society are pitted against one another in a relentless pursuit of profit and self-interest. Alienation from one's own species being Perhaps the most profound form of alienation identified by Marx is the alienation from one's own humanity. Under capitalism, individuals are reduced to mere instruments of production, valued only for their ability to generate profits for capitalists. This alienation from their essential human nature leads to a deep sense of existential despair and emptiness among workers. Human Emancipation Despite the grim picture painted by Marx in his Critique of Capitalism, the economic and philosophic manuscripts of 1844 also contain seeds of hope and optimism. Marx envisions a future in which humanity is liberated from the shackles of capitalism and can live in a society based on cooperation, solidarity, and social equality. 
He argues that true human emancipation can only be achieved through the abolition of private property and the establishment of a classless society in which the means of production are collectively owned and controlled by the people. In this communist society, Marx envisions a radical transformation of social relations, in which individuals are free to pursue their passions and interests without the constraints of wage labor and exploitation. Instead of being alienated from their labor and from each other, individuals will be able to engage in creative and meaningful work, forging authentic connections with their fellow human beings and reclaiming their humanity in the process. Relevance to contemporary issues, the economic and philosophic manuscripts of Wenidini 44 continue to resonate in contemporary debates surrounding capitalism, inequality, and social justice. In an era marked by widening economic disparities, environmental degradation, and social unrest, Marx's critique of capitalism offers valuable insights into the root causes of these problems and points towards alternative visions of society based on solidarity and cooperation. Moreover, Marx's analysis of alienation remains relevant to understanding the psychological and social effects of modern-day capitalism. From the rise of precarious labor arrangements to the erosion of social bonds and community ties, the alienating effects of capitalism continue to shape the lived experiences of millions of people around the world. Conclusion In conclusion, Karl Marx's economic and philosophic manuscripts of Wendidini 44 represent a foundational text in the Marxist tradition, offering a penetrating critique of capitalism and a vision of human emancipation. Through his analysis of exploitation, alienation, and inequality, Marx lays bare the contradictions and injustices inherent in capitalist society, while also pointing towards the possibility of a more just and equitable future. By engaging with Marx's manuscripts, we can gain a deeper understanding of the dynamics of capitalism and the possibilities for transformative change in the pursuit of a more humane and compassionate society.